Hi, my name is Vineet and we're going to look at how arrays work in LabVIEW. Arrays are good for grouping elements of the same data type, and you can manipulate arrays both on the front panel or the block diagram of a LabVIEW application. If we look at the computer here, I've started with the blank VI, and I can right-click on the front panel and navigate to an array shell. If I drop this down, you can see it's, it's been undefined yet, and so I can go to the block diagram, and it's just a, a black color. In fact, let's drop down a few of these. And really, I can input a variety of different data types into these to define the array of a certain type or structure. Let's right click and drop down a numeric control in this first one. We can drop down a numeric fill slider in the second one. And then let's drop down some toggle switches and some Boolean LEDs as well, just to see what variety of different arrays I can create. Now, depending on where I'm hovering over the array, I can drag it open and increase the number of elements that are being displayed. I can do the same for all these others. And I can even manipulate the size of certain elements within the array, like this toggle switch here and these Boolean LEDs. Now, on the block diagram, you can see as I've been defining these, I've also got the different colors that have started being initialized as well. So I can see this orange type here represents a double precision number. And I can change this to an indicator and wire these two arrays together. Let's wire the two Boolean arrays together. And now when I hit Run, I can start to enter in different values. Let's say 5, 6, 8 for these first ones. And uh, I can move the toggle switches here. And now when I hit Run, you can see I've propagated those values through the array. And I can see the corresponding values on the indicators as I've inputted on the controls. I can then change it up again just to illustrate what I mean. And you can see the corresponding values now appear on the displays. Now in the block diagram, you get access to a variety of array functions as well. If I delete these Boolean arrays, I can right click and go to the array sub palette. And here's where I can drop down a, a number of different functions to do things like check the array size. I can even index certain elements inside of the array. So I'm going to drop this down here. And then I'm going to create some displays for the outputs of these functions. So I'm going to create a display for the size. I'm going to create a display for the individual element that I'm trying to index. And then let's create an index control as well. If I move these around on the front panel so I can make it a little, e little bit easier to see, I'll put my size up here. And I've got my element. Let's say I'd like to index this element number 9 here. So this is really the fourth element inside the array, but arrays are 0 indexed. And so the index that I'm going to put in is going to be 0, 1, 2, 3. So I'm going to change this index number to 3. Now the size of the array, again, I'd expect this to be 4, since I've got four different elements inside the array. Now when I hit Run, you can see I've got 4 being displayed here, and I've also got element 9 being displayed because I've chose to index number 3. I can also manipulate the array, and so I can right-click, go back to the array palette, and drop down the reverse 1D array function. If I wire this up in between the control and the indicator, and hit Run, I've now flipped the array. And so the display is the exact opposite of what the control is. And that's just another example of some of the manipulation functions that I've got inside the array subpalette on the block diagram. And that's how arrays work in LabVIEW.